Hi Internet, Jason here again from Godlike Productions. Hope you are all doing pretty well. I've got some new H9000 content for you today. So today it's a algorithm I've been talking about for quite some time. It's the Pitchy Granulator. So this is my first foray into granular synthesis or granular synthesis. Synthesis, you know that word into doing granular stuff on the H9000. And the approach that I've taken here is very similar to what Infected Mushroom did with their iWish plugin. So what we've got is it processes in real time audio. It takes it in, sticks it into this grain buffer, which is essentially some delays but the delays are tuned so that when you press a midi note it actually sounds whatever note you're playing so it calculates frequencies all that and works out the size of the buffer and then it recirculates that grain around at the time well at the frequency of the pitch essentially so i'm going to take you through this plugin now and we'll go through the different controls that we have available for us. So the first one is the delay feedback. So this is how hard it rotates around in the inside the buffer. So if you set this on zero, it basically it goes through the delay buffer just the once and doesn't feed back. But as you push this up, it starts feeding back, and that's actually what gives you the pitch of it. Is so the more you push this up, the more tonal quality is the um, the granular effect is going to have. The envelope I'll come back to shortly. The left and right um, delay multipliers, they multiply the frequencies. So if you take it at 0.5, for example, as we've got here, that will halve the frequency of what is detected. And that's how it determines. You can have a different frequency for your left and right ears, and that creates some quite interesting effects. The pitch is used only when this MIDI on is turned off, and that is what manually sets the frequency. And when it's turned on, it the frequency is detected automatically from the MIDI notes. So the MIDI parameters here, MIDI channel obviously, it will take it either from the DIN input or the USB input, whichever you choose. In this case, I'm using the basically the Eventide driver input as a MIDI source. The pitch bend, again, you can use pitch bend. I'm not using it here, but you can set the number of notes that the pitch bend will affect. Offset is quite important. So this is, once the note's been detected, this will offset the note by however much. So you can go down, I think, plus or minus 128 semitones. I usually try and set this in octave amounts, but that's up to you. Use that for your creative uses. MIDI freeze. So what that does is if you turn this on, essentially it turns this the wet percentage up to 100%, and it grabs whatever's in the delay buffer. It will just loop that around and around and around and around. So it basically it will capture whatever's coming in at that point and use that as your, basically as your synthesis source. The pitch here is, this is just the raw pitch detection from the MIDI interface. We've got the wet, so if you turn this up to 100%, then there'll be none of the dry signal coming in. And finally, we've got a feedback gain. Now, what I've noticed is that if I don't have a gain in here, then there's not quite enough signal to get the delay to go around and around. So you just have to boost this up. Half a decibel to one decibel is usually enough, but you, you can push it further and you can drop it back if you've got a really hot signal. The What I've also got in after the gain stage is the soft clipper. So if you do start pushing it hard, it's going to push in and saturate rather than just get runaway feedback. So that's, I've used a soft clipper like a compressor. So if you push it, push too hard into it or this feedback starts getting around it's going to clip uh, but it's going to clip clip nicely with sort of an analog warmth to it 
All right, let's go back to this envelope because it's a little bit tricky to explain. So, what the envelope is, so we'll set up, use square, square as our basis. So, square is what it's designed around. And what the square does with the pulse width modulation is it determines of the delay that's captured inside the loop, the envelope determines how long or the shape of the grain so it, it defines your grain boundary so if you use square and pulse width modulation at short pulse width modulations it's just going to grab the first little tiny bit of the sample and then it's going to loop that around at whatever rate you've determined from your midi note as you push this out at 100 percent, the grain will fill the entire delay buffer and we've got some different shapes here you've got sine triangle and peak all of those are affected by pulse width modulation so you can do sort of some nice fading in and out of your, your grain boundary so that determines this is really the grain the grain shape but it is trick this envelope is triggered at the rate of the delay buffer so this this will it gets re-triggered so every time go so as it's going around inside the buffer it re-triggers every time it loops if that makes sense now if you push this up really really high it might trigger a number of times in the loop so you, you can actually sort of do amplitude modulation at audio rates up to a thousand hertz and so you can create some sort of chunky gated like very fast gating effects on it okay i think i've run through everything that there's a little bit of information displayed there so next i'm going to run through some demos for you i'm going to start off with this just with the effect bypass and i'm going to let me just bring up this window here so we're using ableton to play back and i've got a number of different samples here these are just from ableton lives is from their library and a couple of different MIDI, a, bit, a couple of different MIDI tracks here, um, which will let you hear the effect of what the the MIDI notes do. So what I'll do is I'll I'll try and stick this down in the corner here somewhere as we're playing around with it, um, just so you can see what what we're on. But we'll start off. Uh, just by playing just the raw samples with the effect bypass okay so i'll come back onto the mic once this is finished and yeah just have a little bit of chat about where to get this and close off
Alright guys, I hope that's given you a little bit of an idea about some of the capabilities of this new granular synthesis algorithm. Just to be clear, this hasn't been developed using Rainbow. This is all done using VSIG, so Rainbow still has a little way to go before I'm comfortable using it for getting algorithms out, particularly granular synthesis stuff. Well, it's not so much Rainbow has the integration into the H9000. <clears throat> so that's now been released publicly for, as a public beta for people to experiment with. And I'm certainly on getting on board with that. Um, but yeah, I just want to see a few more changes and see how it developed a little bit before I go hardcore into making Rainbow algorithms. But in any case, I hope that you enjoy this new granular synthesis algorithm. It's got some creative uses. I have, at the moment, only used it as a single plugin, but it sounds fabulous with reverbs on it or some chorusing or some other types of effects on top of this. Um, yeah, big delays afterwards. Yeah, it, you've got the power of the H9000 there to make stuff sound amazing. This is a way to absolutely mangle your inputs so that when it comes out yeah you can use all the other goodness of the, the h9000 this algorithm is going to be available for subscribers for free if you're not a subscriber check down the links below and you can support my work here um, one of the bonuses you get when you subscribe to my buy me a coffee page is you get all the algorithms for free all the premium stuff that i've been doing I still put some out for free to, um, you know, the users that, you know, maybe a little bit cash strapped or, you know, don't want to support for whatever reason. That, that's cool. That's your choice. And it's yeah going to be free. You will be able to buy it if you just like this algorithm and 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 don't want to support it. Not interested in the other algorithms. You can just buy this one as a once off. That's all fine. And again, that'll be available from Buy Me A Coffee, but I'll post some links up on the, the forums and Facebook and yeah, all the other places like that. The, what was I going to say? The, um, I've got some other algorithms coming up soon. So the next one that'll be released will probably be a H3000, or it's transferred from H3000, which is the swept combs. So I've managed to transfer that from the H3000 over to the H9000 and then I've made another version which is a full true stereo version of it because the original one was basically a summed mono so it summed the stereo and just had the one processing chain for that but H9000 has got a lot more horsepower so I've managed to be able to put that into the the two stereo true stereo version and I've added some stereo expansion and a, a few other little bits and pieces to it <clears throat> so that will be out soon and um, I don't have a H3000, so if anyone has the presets for them and would care to share them with me, what the parameters are on them, I'm happy to send you a, a copy for free. <laughs> so when that one's 
when that one's done so that at least I've got some presets. Otherwise, I'll just make some up myself and see what we've got. I've, I've got the default one, so that one I know when you load it up, whatever it comes as. So that will be out hopefully in a couple of weeks' time. Just putting the finishing touches on that. And yeah, just big thank you again to all the subscribers, the guys that have helped me out with this. I hope that everyone enjoys this new algorithm. Um, it's not going to be the last foray into granular synthesis that I'm going to do. But this is one of the techniques that's able to be accessed within the H9000. I kind of like it because it's useful for my type of music. And I do like to be able to tune things with MIDI notes. It <laughs> makes playing them a lot easier and a lot more, you know, just a, a lot more enjoyable for me. All right, guys, thanks very much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoy this algorithm and enjoy the presentations. If you want to make sure you don't miss new bits and pieces coming out, then please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and then you'll find out when things happen um, as they, you know, as they come up on YouTube. Um, I do understand the struggle of having <laughs> subscriptions everywhere, so yeah, it's, it's more just for your benefit. If you, if you like this content, and you want to see when it comes up. The best way is to yeah like and subscribe. All right, thanks very much, guys. I will see you again soon. Bye.